There are 52 individual guns in Black Ops Cold War, and yes, I am including things like the Ballistic Knife and the R1 Shadowhunter, as they are weapons that you shoot. But 52 guns in a single game is insane, including all of the melee weapons and wonder weapons, that brings the total number of weapons to 64. There are plenty of great weapons in this list, the Howard Shotgun, 1911, the EM2 Assault Rifle, which is an underrated champion, but we're not here to talk about the best of the best, because today's weapon of focus is the Diamati. The Diamati is a three burst pistol, it's honestly nothing too crazy, as we've had countless guns like this in Call of Duty over the years. This gun however has had several different names and looks over the years in Call of Duty, the M93 Rafika being the original in MW2. It's also been seen on Black Ops 4, but it was renamed the RK7 Garrison, and now Cold War as the Diamati. Truthfully, I've never really used this gun in Cold War, I know I have the Dark Matter camo which says otherwise, but my strat for getting this camo was just spamming the opening 20 rounds. So I've never really gone higher than that with this gun. That's going to be changing today, I, I hope. Before we get into anything, the setup. This is what I was running on my Diamati. Task Force Barrel, I know it's not everyone's favourite, but I see damage number get bigger, which makes brain juices happier. Ember sighting points, mainly for the extra salvage drops. 30 round fast mag, which is pretty self-explanatory. And field tape. Honestly, you can do without anything here, as you only really need something in the three previous categories. And the final slot being dual wield. Having two of these little blasty boys is definitely the play, as it's literally just double the damage. And now that you're sitting there judging my attachment choices, let's get to it. For the map, I chose Firebase Z. I've played a lot of D-Machine of late, and I thought it might be a little cop-out to run it back there. There's no chance in hell I'm fighting through the chaos that is Mao de Totem and Forsaken with just a pistol. Well, a pistol I'm not familiar with anyway. I don't hate myself that much. Round one, and you just knew I had to turn on the Rampage and Dusa. Still one of the best things ever added to zombies, and something I beg it returns in future games, whenever that uh, may be. I stuck around in the starting room for the first few rounds to gather some points together, but to also get a feel for the gun, and I gotta say, the Diamati early game, it's kind of nuts. Super high fire rate, great magazine size, and pretty decent damage when starting with purple tier. The fact straight out the gate I was doing 100 damage to non-crit and upwards of 700 damage to crit hits. Obviously not the best numbers in the world, but for a pistol, it was very nice, as there are several guns in the primary category class that just don't even get close to those numbers. On round 6, I left spawn to get all of the generators turned on for Pack-a-Punch. A few rounds later, they were all turned on, and this is when I had my first encounter with a special zombie, a Mimic which definitely didn't make me jump. My purple tier unpack of Diamati made light work of the round 8 Mimic, as I was hoping it would. I stuck around the crashed helicopter for a few more rounds, just gathering more points, as I wanted to focus on getting the Diamati upgraded as quickly as possible. So on round 11, with over 20,000 points, I headed back to the starting area and got my guns pack a punch to tier 2. I gotta say, having a tier 2 pack a punch gun this early, it, it's actually unfair. There isn't a single enemy that can even get a sniff of you when you're just relentless blasting away. It was also at this point when I decided that I wasn't going to use any ammo mods for some reason. Like, I, I don't know why either, I just feel like the idea of no ammo mods glanced across my mind, but then the intrusive thoughts got a hold of it and was just like, yep, this sounds good to me. So here we are. Round 15 and I've got a very good loadout together. All of the perks I wanted except PhD, tier 2 Pack-a-Punch and armor. And I was starting to feel very good about this run. This round was also when I had my first defense wave, which I won't lie, I'm still not the biggest fan of this mechanic on this map. Don't get me wrong, I love the idea, I just wish it wasn't implemented here. Outbreak, for sure. Not too sure I love it on round based maps, but that's just my personal preference, you know? Anyway, I blitzed through this defense wave and it's back to spawn for me. Between around 16 to 20, the Diamati in its current state continues to destroy anything that even gets close. However, on round 20, I finally have enough points with my tier 3 pack punch and PhD. With both of these now bought, there's only one upgrade left, which is legendary tier. Round 20 also saw the second defense wave, and with a much stronger gun, uh, these zombies once again stood absolutely no chance. At this point, I was starting to think I'd stumbled across a hidden gem, but I was limiting my expectations slightly, as I was still in a fairly low round. It's now round 23, and I'm still running around in the spawn area, but now I have a fully maxed out Diamati, and it was still putting in the work. The Diamati, in fact, carried me through to round 27 in the starting area, but it was now where things were just getting a little too chaotic with the amount of manglers and mimics that were spawning, and it was now time to head to the mainland where I'd begin training around the crashed helicopter. I also noticed that I hit round 28 in 28 minutes, which uh, I know is a little random, but I, I thought that was quite impressive. Round 30 is now here, and I have yet again another 
another defense wave. This time, however, it's the first one with order, so yay. <laughs> Now this also got quite chaotic for me to the point where I dead ass thought this was about to be my first down of the game, but somehow me and this little blasty boy managed to stay alive and not only did it keep me alive, it killed order. Now granted I did switch over to Ring of Fire for this, but this small three burst mad lad killed order, which is actually quite impressive. But things weren't going to stay easy forever. If you have ever done a round 50 on Cold War Zombies, you will know between rounds 30 to 35, most regular guns just fall flat on their face in terms of damage output. There are a few standouts, mainly the ones I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but a vast majority of guns just turn into pea shooters from this point. This isn't me complaining either, I'm simply just saying it gets tough from this point on. The first few rounds after crossing into the 30s were easy enough. Round 36 plus, uh, that's a different story. Enemies from this point on were requiring way more shots before being killed. I mean, obviously, dumbass, that's the whole point. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the special enemies, specifically the Mangalas. There may be a few of you now sitting there and thinking, should have put the bonus armor damage barrel on, and uh, yeah, I, I fully I fully agree. <laughs> the armored zombies were becoming such a ball ache to deal with, each one of them was just eating up bullets for fun. It was actually becoming a huge pain in the ass, but I kept on going. I gotta say as well, Mule Kick and Ring of Fire, absolute MVPs of this run. Being able to have a somewhat consistent amount of armor drops each round was such a lifesaver. And then also being able to put a pretty sizable dent into each round every time I popped Ring of Fire was also such a huge bonus. And was honestly what was allowing me to continue farming through these rounds. Round 40 and it was time for what I was hoping would be the last defense wave. And I gotta say, doing one of these at this round with only a pistol, it, it's kind of chalked. There were several times where I was thinking like, this is it. I'm taking it down here and I'm probably gonna end up dead shortly afterwards. But luckily I had a few Semtexes on hand that were quite frankly saved my life. If I didn't have those, it was game over for sure. Once all the regular zombies and specials were taken care of, it was time for order, and the dear Maddie did its job, and that was two for two now for the little blasty boy. The remaining rounds were now starting to take an age to get through, well, eight to ten minutes to be a little more exact, but considering if I was using ammo mods or a stronger gun, I'd be getting through these rounds in half that time at minimum, it felt like it was taking an age. But I wasn't using ammo mods or a stronger gun, and I was determined to make it through without them, as I'd made it this far already. Round 45 and I was finally into the final few rounds. The DMI was struggling as I was heading towards health cap and to be honest so was I. Concentration was beginning to slip a little towards the end but I had ring of fire to save me. At almost every possible time I could ring of fire was being activated and I eventually crossed into the 50s. Now all I had to do was finish one more round and then exfil. Round 50 with the Dear Maddie might have been one of the most stressful rounds of zombies I have ever played. I refused to pop Ring of Fire as I knew I needed it for the final extract, and I didn't want to risk not having it charged in time, so I slowly and meticulously clawed my way through round 50, and then it was done. Round 50 was completed, and now it was time for the hard part. 90 seconds and 54 enemies stood between me and victory. Ring of Fire gets activated and I take out as many as I can. I won't lie though, I, I did use it in a pretty bad area and at a bad time, which meant I didn't kill anywhere near as many zombies as I'd have liked. I still had an inventory full of Semtexes and once again they came to my rescue, clearing out mainly the armored zombies, and before I knew it, it was just me standing there and we get out on round 51. It feels like this only ever happens like once every millennia, but we finally beat another Zombies Round 50 challenge. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and as always, I'll see you guys.